What's up YouTube, Mr. VA Fishing here. The date is February 7th. Once again, it is snowing outside. Isn't that great? We can't seem to get a break in this weather. It's been really terrible conditions for fishing, but today we are going out and we're gonna be fishing for some stock trout. Hopefully we're gonna have some success. It's been quite some time since these fish have been stocked. Quite a few of them have probably moved and quite a few of them probably will not bite this time of year. So it just might be a one fish episode, but it should be pretty sweet going out and fishing in the snow. Should be able to shoot some really cool nature footage. I hope you guys all like that content. Any point in time you guys like this video, please scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the Easter PA Fishing YouTube channel, what the heck are you waiting for? Do that now. Easter PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. Absolutely beautiful winter day, man. So glad I'm making it out here to go fishing today. Really hope I catch something, but it's not always about that, you know. Sometimes it's just about being out in nature, enjoying everything it has to offer. Thanks for interrupting me, GPS. I was trying to say something meaningful. Now, by no means is it actually safe to go out driving in the snow. You just gotta take it easy, take your time. There's no rush to get to where you're going. Well, we made it down to the creek we're gonna be fishing today. Now, hopefully the GoPro doesn't keep getting wet. I think we should be able to make a pretty cool video out of this one. Hopefully I can catch some fish. I'm about to use a little trick that I like to use. I'll probably go over it a couple different times in this video. I have a bad habit of repeating myself. But today, I have some gulp alive minnows with me. But I'm not gonna be fishing with those. I'm gonna be using my usual setup. Cast King Centron rod, little Abu Garcia size 10 reel. And I got some four pound monofilament line with a six foot long four pound fluorocarbon leader. On the end of the leader, I have a little size six Aberdeen hook and I have a trout magnet. Very tiny little split shot just for castability. So this is where the gulp alive comes into play. There's actually some really good scent in here. That nasty little juice in there, very good fish attractant. So we're gonna juice up our trout magnet with that, let it sit in there for a few seconds, get all stinky, and that will definitely make the trout a little more attracted to this bait. Most likely gonna be a very challenging day. Hopefully this little cheat that I'm using is gonna work. I wonder if there's any fish still hanging around here. Well, nothing here at the first spot. It's probably the best one I know of as well, so... I don't know, this might just turn out to be a nature video. I hope you guys like the content. Gotta stay positive though. It's another pretty good spot on this creek. There's gotta be something hanging around. Well, the fishing might not be the best right now, but one thing I have to say is it's nice to have some privacy out here. Usually there's a whole bunch of people walking the trail, quite a few people actually fishing this time of year, believe it or not, but not today. So far, I've only seen one other person out here and they weren't fishing. Well, spot number one was a complete bust, which really isn't too much of a surprise. This time of year is terrible for fishing. Even trout fishing, even though trout remain active during the winter, they are still very hard to catch when it gets super cold like this. Also, with all the snow and all the precipitation, there is a lot of surface disturbance that might freak the fish out a little bit. All these different contributing factors were like a whole bunch of excuses. But whatever, we're trekking to another spot now, another place where they stocked on this very tiny little creek. Hopefully, we can catch some fish there. Man, this is so sweet. There's absolutely no one here. I have the entire park to myself. Do a little sliding. Whew, it's fun. Whew, had to do quite a bit of trekking, but we are almost at the second spot. I'm telling you guys, it is a winter wonderland out here. I mean, look at this. It is a beautiful winter day. Couldn't ask for much more this time of year. Now, even if you hate the cold and you hate the winter and you hate the snow, at least it's not raining. It's 
supposed to be another spot. See if anything's hanging out. Now, when I'm fishing soft plastics in the winter, I want to cast them out there. I want to make sure they get all the way down to the bottom. And I'm just going to fish them very slowly, pulling them with the current. You want to make sure you're pulling your lures with the current, not against the current. You want them to look as natural as possible this time of year. Fish are going to get a real good look at your bait down there. So you want to make sure you're using fluorocarbon line, not monofilament. So I have a nice big six foot long leader on here. One fish. That's all I'm asking for. The funny thing is I'm always like, oh, I need to catch fish, I need to catch fish. But once I get out here and actually go fishing, most of the time I realize I didn't really need to catch fish. I just needed to be outside, out here in nature, great outdoors, nothing quite like it. Now there's never any shame in using attractants. Once again, we are taking our magnet and we are dunking it in that gulp juice, giving it a scent. There's definitely no shame in using attractants and there's no shame in catching fish. It can be the difference between getting a bite or going home empty handed. Well, checked out a few more spots. Still no fish, no bites. It's a tough winter day for fishing. I do not suggest coming out here and trying to catch a bunch of fish this time of year. If you really have the urge and you wanna get out here and you're a good driver, yeah, give it a shot. But don't come out here in unsafe conditions. Try to go fishing. It's not worth it. No fish is worth your life. When the conditions are unsafe like this, you don't wanna put your life at risk just to go out and catch a measly fish. Not worth it at all. Spot from spot, from spot to spot, absolutely no fish, no bites, no sign of life other than myself out here, which goes to show how crazy I really am about fishing. Now this hole here was probably stocked with the most fish, so I'm assuming there's probably still a good amount of fish in this one area. Hopefully this side of the bank isn't too frozen up. Well, we made it, and it looks like half the spot is frozen. Oh boy, so, Looks like this is gonna be a very interesting fishing experience. Hopefully I can get something to bite. Here's to hoping it happens. No love here on the creek. Whew, I am freezing my keister off out here, but gosh, what a beautiful winter day. Guys don't have to like the snow, you don't have to like the winter, but you have to appreciate the beauty that nature has to offer this time of year. When else are you gonna see something like this? I mean, just look at this. I'm in a total winter wonderland right now. Whew. Well, everybody, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one here today. A beautiful day of fishing, even though we didn't catch anything today. You know, sometimes that's what it's like. You can't come out here during winter and really expect to catch anything. And it's not always really about that. Sometimes it's just about the experience being out here in nature. There's nothing quite like it. Hope you guys all like the content. If at any point you did, scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you're not subscribed to the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel, please do that too. Eastern PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Till next time, guys, stay safe, stay tuned, and stay fishy.